Yes, the basics of mathematics and matrices now is clear to you. It is the right time to apply our concept to generate representation or matrices for various operations. Let me start with the trivial operation that is identity. Before that, what is the convention? What is the basis of the coordinate system? What is my assumption or consideration about coordinate system? I make it clear. A three dimension image when I do, at that time I want to consider x axis towards left right, y axis towards you and towards me, z axis up and down. Now question arises, what is the positive direction? C. Such system will be there. It is our x axis, positive direction of x axis. It is y, positive direction of y. Upside, thumb represents positive direction of z axis. But when I perform the rotation, then we consider majoritically z as a principal axis. So through principal axis, when we'll do rotation, at that time, this z axis I'll consider as a rotation axis. So rotation will be in the xy plane. So for that, it will be easy to imagine in this way. It is a positive direction of x, positive direction of y. It is a first quadrant. How and where will be the second quadrant? Second quadrant will be here. Nikki direction of x, positive direction of y. Where will be the third quadrant? Third quadrant will be here. Nikki direction of x and negative direction of y. Where will the fourth quadrant? Nikki direction of y and positive direction of x. It is our fourth quadrant. So rotation will be in this direction. So from your point of view, it will be anti-clockwise direction. Let us start with the identity. If I consider in three coordinate system, any point here somewhere in this x, y, z coordinate, suppose here is a point. And on this point, let me perform identity operation. After identity operation, what will happen? This point will change the position. In case if it changes the position by any means, again it will come to that position. That's our identity. Restoring its identity. Restoring the identity. Suppose if I perform reflection operation. Reflection, double reflection, then identity. So ultimately, point will not change its position. If I consider its coordinate, say, x, y, j, after identity operation, coordinate will remain x, y, j. How can I represent that mathematically? Identity as operation or coordinate x, y, j. Result is x, y, j. These are all matrices. I want to establish matrix for identity. So it is our consideration. I represented it mathematically. It seems to be the very simple, but lot of meaning is there in that. We can derive the matrix for the identity. See now the derivation. That x, y, j, I can represent in other way, mathematically. How can I represent that? 1x plus 0y plus 0z. And the second term, 0x plus 1y plus 0z. And third term, 0x plus 0y plus 1z. This representation is with two different matrices. How? See here. In the next step, given one matrix, 3 by 3 matrix. Only coefficients of the previous equations are represented. What are the coefficients? 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And right side matrix is a column matrix. Only coordinates are represented. X, Y, Z. In other way, if you multiply first 3 by 3 matrix by second column matrix, you will get the result. What is the result? 1x plus 0y plus 0z. And second, 0x plus 1y plus 0z. And third, 0x plus 0y plus 1z. The result, whatever you got there, that is identity. How? See the left side. Left side is E in column matrix x, y, z. Right side, one matrix is there, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and x, y, z. x, y, z, and x, y, z will get cancelled. And E is equal to, E is a name for that matrix. 
E is an operation and matrix for that operation is 10001001. It is the understanding about the matrix of the identity. Whenever in future we will use the mathematical term, mathematical matrix representation, we will use this as a term. And we were knowing for identity, we were using the same matrix. Now only what we did, we derive that. Let me know the procedure for that. So with simple, basic, trivial operation, I started. So is the derivation for the matrix for identity clear? Likewise, we can derive the matrix for other operations. Here, what is the character for that matrix? Character is equal to summation of diagonal elements and that character is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. It is three characters. So how can we represent? Character chi is equal to three. And one more term I told to you before in terms of matrices, in the topic matrices, basics of matrices. Character of identity is equal to dimension. Keep in mind, we are using it repeatedly later on. I repeat, character of identity is equal to dimension. In the similar way, let us find matrix for Rotation by 180 degree means C2 operation that remains in water molecule, no? but C2 operation hydrogen 2 from your point of view left side will come to right side and right side hydrogen will come to left side. We are talking about now only one point. Let us derive that. So for that I consider now in this three coordinate system one point it is x, y, z point all are positive x is positive y is positive z is positive after 180 degree rotation see here I am rotating now the molecule I am rotating this point this is a vector you can consider one vector radial vector and that I am rotating 90 degree rotation and 180 degree rotation so after 180 degree rotation the point which was here in the first quadrant will come in the third quadrant in XY system projection if I have to do means this point will come to this position now in this position how are the coordinates one by one let us discuss what about X coordinate here X coordinate is positive X coordinate is negative so what is the coordinate of this point X coordinate positive or negative it will be negative what about the Y coordinate Y coordinate is positive towards you Y coordinate towards me is negative so what is the coordinate now for y negative what about the z coordinate previously point was here z coordinate was positive now point is here z coordinate remain positive so z coordinate has not changed z coordinate remain positive okay positive negative i discuss what about the values when it was with the x coordinate after rotation become perfectly minus x try to work on that after rotation become perfectly minus y and after rotation it remain z so now new coordinates are minus x, minus y, z. It is our understanding. But how can we represent in terms of matrices? C2 operation on x, y, z is equal to minus x, minus y, z. I want to represent that minus x, minus y, z in terms of simplified mathematical way. How? Minus 1 plus 0 y plus 0 z. Second representation, 0 x plus minus 1 y plus 0 z. And third representation, 0 x plus 0 y plus 1 z. I hope you will easily understand that. This representation encompasses two matrices. Coefficients we can collect together and we can write minus 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 in a square bracket, in a matrix bracket. And next one, column matrix X, Y, J. So if I simplify that multiplication of the two matrices, I will get the previous result. That's a desired result. If I simplify it further, C2 into X, Y, J is equal to the matrix into X, Y, J, X, Y, J, X, Y, J will get cancelled. So C2 is equal to minus 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's a matrix for C2. It's our derivation. Simple, no? Yes. Let us find the matrix for plane plane of symmetry x y y z x j different planes we can consider in case of water what i was considering if it is a oxygen is to hydrogen then molecular plane is x z plane i was imagining so oxygen is along the z axis and non molecular plane perpendicular to the molecular plane it is a y z plane so that will help us if we could able to determine the matrices for reflection sigma x j Reflection sigma y z or reflection sigma x z. Let us find one by one. What is the character for C2? Character means summation of diagonal elements. So what is the summation? Minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 1 answer is minus 1. So character for C2 is minus 1. Here it is a different operation than identity. So only we are saying character. For identity, character of identity is equal to dimension. 
your only character while staying. Remember this character of C2 is minus 1. Now let us go to the next. That's a plane. The first plane I want to consider XY plane. Again our system Z axis, Y axis, X axis. How is it XY plane? XY plane is in this way. I want to consider one point here. Say XYZ is a coordinate of that point. After reflection, that point will come to downside. The distance from that point to mirror, same distance I have to come down. So the point will be here. XYZ will convert to this point. Now I have to find coordinates of new point. Answer for my question. X coordinate. Will X coordinate change? No, X direction remain positive. So it will remain positive and values will remain perfectly X. Y coordinate. Y was positive. Now also it is positive. It will remain perfectly same. What about Z coordinate? Z coordinate was positive here. Now I went down. So Z coordinate will be negative. So what are the new coordinates? Right. X, Y minus Z. Let me represent it in terms of matrices. Which operation I am performing? Sigma X, Y. On whom? X, Y, Z is equal to X, Y minus Z. Let me represent it in a simple way. How? X can be represented. It is equal to 1X plus 0Y plus 0Z. Y can be represented as 0X plus 1Y plus 0Z. And Z minus Z is there. 0x plus 0y minus 1z. This representation can be split into matrices, one number matrix and other color matrix. How? 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 minus 1 in then xyz. What is the left side? Left side is sigma xy and then color matrix xyz. xyz xyz will get cancelled. Sigma xy is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 minus 1. What is the character of this matrix? Character is equal to 1. What is the character for C2? Minus 1. What is the character for identity? That's the dimension 3. As I derived for the XY, similarly, we can work and find the derivation for the matrix sigma yj. Again, the imagination. Positive X is positive Y axis, positive Z axis. If I'm considering this point XYZ, I'm considering a YZ plane. YZ plane means this plane, this mirror. So mirror is here. And point is here. After reflection, where will that point go? Point will go behind the mirror. Up to mirror distance. The same distance will travel to other side. So again, X, Y, Z. After reflection, the point will come to this position. Now tell me, X coordinate will be positive or negative? After reflection, will be negative. So it will become minus X. Y coordinate will be positive or negative? It will remain positive only. It was positive here, now also positive. Z coordinate, it was positive here, it's positive. So who has changed? X has changed. What is the plane? YZ plane. In YZ, X is not there. That is change. So what are the coordinates now? What are the coordinates? Minus X, Y, Z. Let me represent it mathematically. Sigma YZ operation on X, Y, Z coordinate. Result is minus X, Y, Z. How can it represent minus X? Minus 1X plus 0Y plus 0Z. How can it represent the Y? 0X plus 1Y plus 0Z. And what about Z? 0X plus 0Y plus 1Z. Simplify it. I will get the matrix. Sigma YZ is equal to minus 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and what is the character here also character is 1 character of yz plane yz also was same yz also is same now one more plane is left which is that plane xy we have considered yz we have considered now left is xz plane so xz plane means along x axis and z so what will the plane this plane so if any point is there towards your side will come towards my side. Is it clear? So which coordinate will change? Here X coordinate will it change? No. Y coordinate? Yes. Y coordinate will become negative. Z coordinate will not change. So in that XZ plane, who is not there? XZ. Y is not there. So Y coordinate changes. So new coordinates will be X minus Y Z. According to the matrix will be, yes, you can derive that matrix. Matrix will be 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 1. Again, the character is 1. Now let us establish the matrix for inversion operation. Again the imagination, x, y, z coordinate, a point is here. After inversion, what is inversion? Draw a line up to center and extend the line to same extent. 
So after inversion, this point will come here. It's three-dimensional reflection. During after reflection, the point was coming here. Now after inversion, the point will come to this position. Now what are the new coordinates? Here coordinates were x, y, z because positive x, positive y and positive z we were considering. After inversion, this point will come here. The x coordinate will become negative, y coordinate will become negative, z coordinate will become negative, all coordinates become negative. That's the inversion. So new coordinates are minus x, minus y, minus z. I can simplify it as minus 1x plus 0y plus 0z and 0x plus minus 1y plus 0z, 0x plus 0y minus 1z. In terms of number system, minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 and column matrix that's a x y z what does it mean matrix for inversion is minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 0 minus 1 what is the character character is equal to summation of diagonal elements minus 1 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 3 yes negative character previous also was there and now also is there a inversion has minus 3 character identity has 3 a inversion has minus 3 character is the matrix for inversion clear so we discussed identity matrix, C2 matrix, XY, YZ, XZ plane matrix and inversion matrix. Basic matrices were discussed. But when we consider the rotation, then rotation not always remain the C2. It can be the C3. It can be the C5. Any other rotation remains, then how can we find the matrix for that? For that one general method, you should understand. Basic plane we have discussed. XZ plane, YZ plane or XY plane. If plane is different than that, if plane is making 120 degree angle, especially in case of ammonia, one of the plane we can consider is XZ plane. Other planes are making angle. Then how to find that the matrix for that plane? Again, improper extra protections are there. So in order to know those all, we need to consider the some imagination. Let us know how to establish such matrices from next part. As a homework, see water molecule has two planes. Two vertical planes are there. If I consider Z as a rotating axis, that's a C2 axis, then what can be the names for those two vertical planes already i told several of those planes but i want answer from you now in the comment box name those two planes which are present for water molecule if z is a rotating axis